Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I finally filmed my brow routine, brow tutorial. I'm so excited. I have been saying since like my first video, I remember so precisely my first video here on YouTube. I was like, I'm not gonna show how I do my brows because it just takes me so long and I plan on doing a video on brows and it's like eight months later and I'm just filming it. In this video, I'm just gonna show you what I use for my brows, how I shape my brows, little tricks I've learned throughout the way, and one specific miraculous product that has changed my brow game like no other. If you guys are interested in seeing that, please just keep on watching. Okay, to start off, I wanted to give you a little backstory on my brows. I haven't gotten them done since I was like maybe 18, I don't know, I used to get them threaded and then ever since then I've just kind of done them myself I kind of just don't trust someone with my brows. I don't know why I just I know what shape I want to get so I just do them myself. My brows aren't perfect Of course, like if you look really really up close, I have a bunch of tiny little baby hairs like more to your towards the, the beginning and I'm just not as a perfectionist with my brows like before I used to be super like anal and like make sure I got every single little hair and all but now I just kind of let them be and every day I groom them a little bit like with my tweezers which the best ones are tweezermen of course I just kind of pluck them every day just take a couple of hairs out that I see needed I don't mess with my shape I just make sure that I have a straight line here a little arch and that's it I do cut them with these little scissors I don't know where they are from but they were my mother's and I kind of just them and I comb them upwards with a spoolie and just kind of trim the long little pieces of hair that I have also I wanted to mention I apply oil on my eyebrows every single night and it's the castor oil this isn't any like brand in specific I just got it from my mom as well I never considered myself to have good brows like in the past my brows were like kind of more sparse I, I don't know but now they just kind of seem to fill up a little bit and I'm not gonna say it's entirely because of the castor oil but I feel it has helped so if you're someone that struggles with brows or eyelashes give this a try and just apply it every single night and you will hopefully see a difference so what I use for my brows is the Anastasia dip brow in medium brown and the Anastasia brush as well in number 12 this is what I use every single day religiously like I do not change at all the only thing I do differently is maybe if I'm not wearing much makeup I'll just put like brow gel but usually if I'm putting like a full face of makeup this is my like this is the one thing I cannot change I mean I would try like I'm interested in trying the brow ways and the brow definer but like I'm on a budget at the moment so if I have something that works like there's no need to you know spend on other products so the product that for me has been life-changing and I talk about it in the tutorial of course I show you it's just I'm still like in shock of how good it is. It is actually just a lash primer. A white L'Oreal lash primer. <laughs> and I know it's crazy because it's like white, but it really makes such a difference. Like my brows, they're like so in place. Like I've never had such stiff brows that look good because I, I tried the soap technique and I hated it because I just felt that my brows were like sticky throughout the day and in my mind if you live like in a, in a hot place like where it gets like really humid and hot during the day if you have soap on your brows that's gonna get like messy I think I don't know oh. those are the products I use just dip brow the L'Oreal lash primer and then a brown gel this one is from L'Oreal it's called something like brow stylist gel mascara like a super long name yeah it really doesn't matter whichever brow gel just as long as it's tinted now i'll get into the tutorial part so i'm starting off with one eyebrow already done this one as you guys can obviously tell if you look at the difference between the two brows this one isn't really super full like i can still see parts of my skin in between the little brow hairs it's just my personal taste i don't like when the brow is too like painted in so the most important thing in my opinion with the dip brow is to not grab too much on your brush i literally just like dab it like this if it has like a little 
excess on the tip I clean it so first of all I just comb through my brow and all I really do is fill my brows in like I place the product on my brows like just fill them in literally and then I start to brush the product with the spoolie and disperse it through my entire brow and I like to start towards the middle of the brow and to the end and then I slowly bring some product up to the front with my spoolie now I have some gaps here up top where I don't have as much hair so I kind of go in again there with with whatever is left on the brush I don't grab any more product and I just kind of run through those areas Honestly, brushing the product through your brows is like the best way to apply the dip brow. Then I again grab just a tiny little bit. Now I go into the front of the brow and I start in the base. Very light strokes. I draw the baseline. Just following my natural shape. Now for my brows, it's a little bit tricky here towards the beginning of this brow precisely because my hairs are a little bit more sparse so I have to go over it several times but I don't grab any extra product I just use whatever is already on my brows I think they're pretty even like that and again it's very important to keep in mind that your brows are never identical never unless they're like tattooed or something but you don't really want that but as you can see you can still see like the shape of my brows at the end it's mostly hair i really just follow my natural brow shape i don't draw on anything now once i think that I, my brow is good like the filling and shape is when i go in with my setting gel thing i don't know if you guys can see the difference here between my two brows this one just has the dip brow and then this one has already the gel this primer with my brow gel honestly they are so stiff so the way i apply this is i like i run it backwards through my brows and i know it looks white and scary but don't worry it's gonna look perfect so i comb it backwards because i really want to coat like every single hair so now that it's dried a teensy bit i go in and the same thing, I comb it backwards to really coat every single little hair. When I have coated the hairs nicely, I start to comb it however I like. And for me, I like to just comb it down on the end. And then here I kind of bring it up, up to the arch. I like my brows a little bit messy. I think it gives it like that natural look. At this point, I would just go in with a little bit of concealer and clean underneath my brows. The best brush that has worked for me to clean my brows is the Morphe M410. It's synthetic, but it's flat. It's perfect to really, like it's just much easier to get a really straight line like this. And then on top as well to clean, I just go in like this. Okay, so that was the whole brow tutorial routine tips and tricks of mine i really hope you guys learned something from it please 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 for me for your brows try this out please it's only like six dollars at a walmart walgreens bite put it on your brows and you will see what i'm talking about in my mind what this does is it just makes the brows much thicker like each individual hair and then when you go in with the brow gel it's just even more thicker so they just look very very natural but full like that's what i see on my brows so that was my little trick for you guys i really hope you try it out let me know in the comment section what you think are you gonna try it have you tried it please try it talk to me on all my social medias i'll have it all linked down below or here on the screens they pop up through the video as i always do come say hello thank you so much for watching everyone and that is it from me i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye